Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space, back with um, video number three in this series of making some pockets and tags. So I have gone away to my sewing machine and I'll just show you a couple of quick ones. Um, a lot of them I just did a zigzag stitch around. I did play with some more fancy stitches, but I found that one of them tore the paper and it was really rough on the paper. Um, this is three levels of book paper plus the level of um, cardstock or whatever I put on it. Some I just did around the edge, um, some I did like a wavy one, just experimenting with my machine. Some of them I just did a strip down here that you can hardly see. Just wanted to add some texture. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the backs yet. I may just put some coffee dyed paper on them. I've been experimenting with coffee dyed paper. So now the fun begins. And I say fun because this is where I procrastinate. Okay, got them into piles. This is like the brown black pile. This is like the purple silver pile. This is like the green sort of acre pile. So what pile are we going to start with? Let's start with the green pile. And I've got a few washies up in front of me that I'm going to add as well. So let's spread some of these out. Let's make sure I get them up the right way just with the words and then I can work on several at once which means it might go a bit quicker and I'll procrastinate less. That one doesn't have any words on it so we might do that one that way. That one has words. Okay so let's work on these at once. So this little collection here is stuff I've cut from paper and offcuts. I thought I could use if the colours go. This was a page of numbers I cut up for no particular reason. So I'm just going to sit here and put, I'm hoping you're in frame. I can't see if you're in frame. Where's the edge of that tag? Oh yeah, you're in frame. Um, just going to start plonking stuff and then I've got little scraps of paper that I cut between the numbers so we might sit some of those and just see how we go. This is the bit I struggle with, this is the bit I procrastinate with a lot. So it's a camera. That actually looks quite cute there. So usually I will do this and move them around 50 times before I am happy with where I'm putting them and I don't mind if some hang off over the edge as I'm not sure whether these are going to be pockets or, or I've got some little typewriters I cut out. Some of them are cut off at the bottom because they're the bottom of the page but that's okay because I can tuck them like this under that piece and you won't know that they were cut off. Shush, don't tell anyone. That'll be our little secret. So what else am I trying to find? Some of them are just these were cut from a paper pad that are just like aligned, like a bit of ledger paper. That could possibly go up here. So I'm just going through my pile. I sort of grabbed anything that would go with these colours. I could bring that colour into there. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use these all in the same album or whether I'm going to gift them out. I'm just playing and practicing my layers. Just don't have any sort of pink in those colors. That would sort of go better on, no, maybe too much color, but those don't have any color in it. See, I'm starting to procrastinate. Stop procrastinating, Melinda, just stick them down. I need some more little things over here. Has anything got yellow in it? Maybe I could stick that there with a bit of yellow or something. Um, so I've got a question. When you make embellishments and things, I like that black. That would be really cool over here. Um, do you do them like this and batch do them or do you work on one at a time or am I just making things hard for myself working on several? I'm trying to find something for this one. Not wanting to use <coughs> foam tape. It's a bit big. 
um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat today, not wanting to use foam tape on these, well that one could turn into a journal card, that's a bit big, um, because I'm wanting to put these in junk journals and keep them quite flat, oh there's a little, oh I like how that sticks over the top and down the bottom, I was going to cut some of these into pockets, now I may do that, but I so sewed all around them, I wonder if I punch will my sewing get upset, because these ones, the first round I made, I punched top and bottom to look like tickets, but I thought this time I might only punch the top and make them look like pockets. Worst comes to worst, I punch one, I don't like it, I don't do any more. Okay, so how are these looking? I need something here, I need more of a focal point. So, I do have a big mess here at the moment. I do have all these die cuts I sat and cut out. I guess that camera will go on that one. Ah. Okay, I think I'm sort of happy with those. Maybe this one needs a bit more something, something. Oh, it's already got numbers on it. Maybe it needs some washi on it. Or another piece of paper. These little bits of paper come in handy for all this sort of work. Okay, so let's put these aside. And as I was saying, I do have... Come on. There's little bits. I do have this whole big bag of die cuts. These are the ones I photocopied and shrunk down and I sat there and cut them out. So I may use some of those in a minute. And I cut out the big ones as well. So I hope you use the big ones on the bigger tags. Um, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use those. Let's get these three small ones out of the way because I think I'm happy with these. Do I need to add washi to this one? Let's just add a bit of sparkle. So I'm not sure where a lot of these washi tapes are from. I think these sparkle ones are from Kmart that Alexis got me and I can't find the end. I do have a fair washi collection that I am trying to use up because <coughs> I found a few of my older rolls do not like do not like me anymore because they obviously dry out. So just using some double sided tape on the back of these. Now this double sided tape I'm trying to use up too because it's, and I just put some on the front there and I'm trying to get that off without wrecking the front of the die cut. Um, this double sided tape either sticks to me my fingers the wrong place and I'm probably using a fair bit of double sided tape but to go over the layers and to go over the ink I find that I need to use a fair chunk now how did I have this set up this is the only problem with taking these off is I don't know how I had them set up I'm sure I like that and often I will set them up differently to what I had them <coughs> This is like I like the stink and plonk method, stink and plonk, stick and plonk method that I see um, a few YouTubers use, sticking as they go, because I find if I take stuff off, it never goes back in the right spot. I like things to overlap. I think I like that to overlap there. Now we're going to see if we can punch half of this one and turn it into a pocket. So I'm just using a one inch um, EK Success punch, and to punch them, all I did was roughly line it up from here to here so it's about the same distance so it's in the middle and line my paper up to halfway and then punch and throw pieces of punch at me so that has turned that into a nice little pocket and I don't think my stitches are going to run as in unhook but I'm happy with that one that one's kind of cute one down many minutes to go don't think I'm going to keep that half a little bit it's a bit small to play with. Oh, I need to tuck it under something. Yeah, put it in the bits box. Okay, we'll do this one. Now does this one need some washi? Probably does. What green washi have we got? It'd be nice to bring some more colour into it. This one I 
think I might put a strip down there. This one I believe is from Reject Shop because it's not true washi, it's like paper tape. But I liked the design on it. Now the tricky bit is to get tape on these without putting tape over the edge. So I want tape from about there to there. It's the only problem when I do die cuts from hanging over the edge, I forget where I put the tape and then they take the tape off and they're all sticky. So this is just 6mm double sided tape Ow. that I'm using. Let's just stick that bit on there. I've got a bit of extra on my finger. Um, and it's great. It just tears off the roll. I think the brand of it was Bella or it could be Expressor Tape, but it is several years old. So I want to see those little pink flowers because that will just add a little bit of colour. Need good nails when you're getting these off. I've tried to use tape runners and everything like that. Tape runners and I have a love-hate relationship. I love them for their quickness. I don't like them for their expensiveness. And I don't like them because they usually stuff up on me as well, which is just ridiculous. So even though it takes a little bit longer to get this tape off, are we going to corner this one? Maybe not, because that's sticking off the top. If I corner it, you're going to hit it all the time. Let's leave that on the line. <coughs> this one needs a little bit of glue stuck under him. Because he started to come off. I could use the glue for all these pieces as well, but I'm just using, I'm using double-sided tape. Now, do we need some washi? Let's put a little bit of this one on. I've got washi on my finger, I need double sided tape. So, I've had fun doing these. This is over, I've done it over about three nights now, and I don't know whether I'll get the whole lot finished in this video. I might have to make a second video of me decorating. Depends how much I waffle and talk and go slow and procrastinate. Have you been enjoying the series so far? Let me know down below. If you want me to do more of these real time, and I'm going to glue that one because that one's going to be a pain in the butt to get adhesive on. Um, have you been enjoying the talk through videos or are they too long and you don't have time to watch them? I will do a flip through of the finished products in a separate video as well. Um, just so if people don't want to sit there and watch three to four hours of footage of me making these. I'm going to turn this one into a pocket. Yeah, we'll turn this one into a pocket. They like to fly at me, those little pocket things. They look really cute look very professional with that bit out of it. Okay, we've got this one in the middle, so we'll do this one next. Oh, I didn't put the washi down. God, I'm a goose. See, I shouldn't talk and do things at the same time. You're only going to see a bit of it, but it's going to be good. There we go. Now, this one's looking a bit... Well, that wasn't part of it. A bit monochromatic. Monochromatic is all the same shades of colour. But I don't mind it, but I do think it needs some washing. Let's go with a strip of this one. What's this one got on? This one's got birds and words. I don't even know where I got this one from. Again, it's not a true washi tape. It's a paper tape more of a paper tape than the, like the translucent normal washies. I don't really mind buying, the only ones I won't buy is shiny ones. I do have a few kids shiny ones that I have bought by accident, but Alexis tons to like to use those. And they, they have a purpose in a particular, um, let's just go ahead and tape all these and then I can just peel them off. Um, the shiny ones do have a purpose in some projects I do, I do like the shininess of them, like the more kids designs. It just depends on what I'm doing. I'm 
problem with this tape is it's getting quite non-sticky so it's sticking to my finger heaps that's okay I end up with a big goop on my finger at the end of it and then my finger sticks to it I'm probably putting too much tape on but I want them to stick on especially when they're going over washi tape and other layers they don't need to be stuck on quite well and I've done all these and not used the bag of die cuts that I originally made these to use up. Isn't that just always the way? Maybe my die cuts can go out in some happy mail. I'm not sure when these videos are going to go live. They'll probably go live after Easter. So I hope everyone had a happy Easter. We've actually got something special going on at Easter. Um, this year we've actually we have a parade each year in Bendigo or like a festival that runs over Easter and we have um, a nighttime parade which I usually don't go to like a torchlight parade a lot of the fire trucks parade in it and there's fireworks after it I often don't go into it but I like the one on Sunday because it's got a lot of floats in it different businesses and schools put floats in and then different organizations march like the girl guides the scouts etc um, we have bagpipe bands and different things like that but this year it's a bit special because our longtime dragon, Chinese dragon that marches in the procession, obviously the dragon doesn't march in the procession, um, people march the dragon. Um, our longtime dragon, Sun Lung, is retiring this year. It's the last year he's going to be in it, and the new dragon's going to be in it as well. So Alexis and I are definitely going to go down and check out the procession. The only problem is with the procession is you need to get there about two hours before it starts. We have like a foot race before it starts so there's sort of something to watch but if you want a decent seat and not want to be like five rows back um, with kids. I don't know whether I like that there now. Well, if I put that offset that that'll be right. I'm going to use glue for this one too so I can get it all over the little edge bit. Um, yeah, you have to get there about two hours prior and sit there and wait to get a good chair at the front. Some people actually go and put their chairs, it's rather rude, they go and put their chairs down, just their chairs, at six o'clock in the morning and then don't come back until like half an hour before the race is about to start, oh the procession is about to start. Now I think that's a bit rude. Because last year we went down there, I'm just putting some tape over that glue to help it with the washi tape. And I should have put the tape on first, then the glue, because I've now got a slidey mess. Ow. Now I've got glue stuck, to, tape stuck to my finger. Oh my god. I'm making a mess of this today. I'm all thumbs when I craft. So now I'm going to try to get the backings off here without peeling both layers up which I think is going to prove difficult. Yeah, so people go and put their chairs down or their rugs down and sort of save their spots and then come back just before the procession, which I think is a bit rude. They should be made sit there as well. But some people are rude. And then if you don't get to the front, some people are very rude and I'm going to use this glue because I've now put normal glue on there and double side tape. And double side tape won't stick on top of the glue. Oh, having issues. Um, and if you don't get to the front, other people sit there and then they the kids can't see and it's no fun if you can't get to the front and if you don't take your own chairs down there's nowhere to sit and it's just so we'll plan to get there a couple of hours and hopefully find a good seat we did last year we sort of found a seat on a corner that no one sort of wanted to be on which was good we'll see if we're that lucky this time They have all other things at the festival as well. They have a lot of like games, like a we have it like a game show alley, which is a lot of your ducks and your rides and your um, games and things like that. Which we usually go walk through, and Alexis has a game of the ducks or something, um, or a game of the clowns. You know, when the clown mouse moves around, you try to get the numbers, but we don't tend to go on a lot of rides. Gee, they're expensive. Oh, and they usually have lots of show bags too, but the show bags. Gee, show bags are getting expensive, whether it's the show or whether it's Easter. And I've done it again, I've put tape where I don't want tape. Like $20, $25 for a show bag. It's like ridiculous, and they're not really worth that amount of money. I'm going to turn this one into a pocket. 
Yeah, let's turn this one into a pocket. That's my whinge for the day. How expensive things are getting. And then you buy a drink and something to eat down there and you're up to like a hundred bucks for the day. It's ridiculous. At least the parade's free. So if you just go down, take your picnic lunch and just go down to the parade, it is free, which is good. And there's a lot of other free stuff to do down. Down at Easter as well. There's a lovely secondhand book fair that Alexis and I like to go to. We've gone for the last couple of years. And um, that will be fun to check out as well. Let's put some this one under here. Let's try to stand all my washies up so you can see the designs. I don't know whether they're in view. Oh, they are in view. Um, this one I think come in a Halloween pack, but I like the black. It's not really black thread I've used. Well, this one is green thread, but I like to... My gold will go quite well. If I've got black on here, but no black elsewhere, I like to add another element of black just to tie it in, even if it's just a little bit like that. I don't know, I may go through and find some smaller embellishments because these really don't have any pictures on them. But everything doesn't have to have pictures on it. go straight or we go now yeah, we'll do straight so what's everyone's plans for Easter as I said this will probably go up after Easter do you have any traditions in your town you go and do growing up we never went to the parades um, because our family was involved in them and us kids had to stay home and they used to put it on TV which was really cool they don't tend to put it on TV anymore they should bring the TV back because then I'd sit at home and probably watch it. You'd probably get a better view of it. Then... Now I'm having a dilemma. I don't want to cover up the eight. And I don't want to cover up my stitching. Something's going to have to go. Cover up the eight. So it'd be nice if they broadcast it on TV anymore. But I suppose it doesn't make any money. And that's why they don't do it. But yeah, it used to be good sitting at home watching it as a kid. It's much better watching it in person, but it's, um, and some of the stands do, they don't do it a lot now, um, some of them do hand out lollies and Easter eggs and stuff as well, so it just depends on what stand or what business they are from, some of them do walk along and hand out stuff, not as much as you used to get years and years ago, but you might get a few Easter eggs or a lolly or a discount for a, bro a discount voucher or something, so I'm happy with these. So we finish off these green ones. We might delve into my die cut pack and just try to check the time. And I can't see without standing up. Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, knock these ones over in 20 minutes. If I can make one, two, three, four, five, six in 20 minutes, I'm sure I can do four and less. Okay. This time I'm determined to use some of these die cuts. So let me just move that washi out of the way. Let me move that pile of stuff up there. Let me get my pile of die cuts out. Now this one doesn't have a way it goes, that one goes that way, that one goes that way, and that one goes that way. So we could use the big one for that, and now we're going to find some, I'm trying to look for ones that sort of have the green colours in them. That one's that one. They've just shrunk down, because this was the size of the die cuts, and they were just massive. I'm going to put two on that and get extra fancy. Maybe I'll put two on here. Oh, I like that butterfly on top of the tag. That looks really cool. Problem is with this one, you put it on, you cover everything up. So I need, that's the smaller version, so... Maybe I can use the bird. And then put it on it you also tweet and cut these apart. I have little chairs and these are just beautiful die cuts. But as I said in my original video, they were just too darn big to use originally. 
So I photocopied all these on my laser printer, printed them out into cardstock, and sat there and fussy cut a lot of them out. Some of them I did accidentally, I did in black and white. But I will stick with the green one for that. I will use those eventually on something. Just trying to look for some of the, I love these hearts that are multicolored. I should make some of those with my washi. Ooh, I might do that. I wonder if I've got a heart die. Probably not, but I could, because I like that. That's really cool. Um, maybe we do the heart and the bird. No, maybe we do the heart. See, this is where I procrastinate. I don't know what to do. The heart and... I've got the envelopes. Do the envelope. I like the idea of the bird. Would my bird fly to? I think my problem is I've got too many die cuts that I don't know what to do with. As I said, not all of these are going to be used. I will um, I'll cut this one down. I will include some of these in Happy Mail as well. So I've just cut that one apart. That one I can probably tuck under something. Um, okay, I like those four. That was pretty painful, wasn't it? Pretty painless. Pretty quick. Do I need something else on this one? Something a bit plain. Maybe a heart. No, not a heart. Maybe a crown. No, the crown's back in that. Don't need another butterfly. No. Maybe I'll just stick some washi tape on it too. It just feels like it needs something. That's the problem, I get to a certain point in a project and I think it needs something else, but I just don't know what to add. Oh, I like a small heart. Definitely going to make some hearts like that. I reckon that would be great to do out of scrap paper too. Oh, all the branding strips off the paper, that would be cool. Okay, might have to go buy myself a heart die from the place that has them really cheap. In about four weeks I could do that. I don't think I've got heart shaped dies, like nesting dies. Okay, let's do this one first. I'm going to deliberately have that butterfly flying off the page. And what do I want on this one? It's quite colourful, isn't it? Maybe this one. No, that's blue. We'll go the green one. I like this one that has a little bit of a pop of colour. See, anything I don't like about washi tape is finding the end. Oh, some of them are just nasty to find the end for. Put that a bit higher because I want to see those coloured flowers. Should have stuck that around the other way. Is it going to come off? Yes! Okay, so now we need to stick this down. But I'm not going to stick on the butterfly because I want that butterfly to hang off the page. I'm surprised actually how quickly I'm getting these done. I thought I'd be still here procrastinating about the first one. I'm getting better at my procrastinating. I'm procrastinating less. I suppose because these aren't very big, they're quite easy to do and they don't take a lot of time and turn this on in your pocket. Um, so that's one good thing. I like them turned into a pocket. They look really cool. So if you just glue them down or stick them down on three sides, you've got a nice little pocket for your book. Okay, do I want anything on this one? Let's go just a little bit of this. I 
haven't bought washi for ages. I sort of, I've got a fair collection at the moment, and as I said, this year is all about using up what I've got and organising what I've got. That's my biggest problem at the moment, is I've got boxes of stuff I haven't opened. Oh, thanks, big truck. That's what we put up with on a daily basis. The trucks are coming into, this traffic light's just probably, I don't know, 200, 300 metres down the road from our house on a main road. Um, so the trucks stick on their air brakes to slow down, obviously, and they make a hell of a racket. Especially in the wee hours of the morning. Oh, speaking of trucks, we often get them pull out. There's three car parks outside our house, and they're obviously not, people don't park there late at night. Um, so we often get trucks pull up and sit there and run their engine for half an hour. And guess where my bedroom is? And guess where Alexis's bedroom is? At the front of the house. And always that pip at me when they do that because it's so loud. They're obviously taking a break and I applaud truck drivers for taking a break and pulling over and doing all the good stuff. But please, can you not do it in front of my flipping house? Really? I like that one. Can't turn that one into a pocket. It's so frustrating when it's midnight. You just... I'm a bit of a night owl, so I go to bed quite late. Um, so you're just sort of dozing off to sleep, and then a big truck pulls up. I went out one night. He sat there for about 45 minutes, and I was getting really annoyed at him. So I went out, and he was actually blocking our driveway for our um, property. So I actually went out and told him off, and I said, my husband's coming home. I don't have a husband. Um, <laughs> I said, my husband's coming home from work, and you're blocking our driveway. And he, he went away. I was so annoyed that you sat there for 45 minutes but I don't go out very often last time if I told him I had a husband he wouldn't feel so he wouldn't um, wouldn't think I was home alone oh and now we've got tires screeching I swear I can be quiet all day or all night and then as soon as I put the video on to record even a voiceover it will thunder and lightning the trucks will pull up, the tyres will squeak. I don't know. Not that anyone can see in my house that I'm videotaping, but it just seems to be. Maybe I just notice it more. Just give me those good press down. This tape is probably on its last legs, but I'm determined to use it up instead of throwing it out. It does work, you just got to press it down a bit more. We'll give this one a pocket. Oh, doesn't that look cute? One last one, and then I might give this one, this video, a rest, because I don't know how many minutes I'm up to. Let me have a look. Oh, 11 minutes. I don't think this one will take me 11 minutes. I do like that now. Do I want some washi under it? Yes, I do. What sort of washi will I do on this one? Where's that green one I had? This one? I'll put the thin blue sparkle. I like this one. I do like a bit of sparkle. Not sure what types of journals these are going in. Obviously they could go in botanicals or they could go in um, sort of, I don't know. Some of them could go into vintage because um, they are vintage things I've been collecting for a while to make my first junk journal and over Easter I might take the plunge. I've been collecting a few little golden books. Um, not the ones, I'm looking for some certain ones. Looking for some of the old, the older ones with all the animals and rabbits for Alexis. So I want to make her a, or help her make a rabbit sort of journal. So I know I've seen the type of book I want in a another YouTuber's video but just haven't come across it yet but I have been picking up a few golden books to attempt a golden book album just haven't got the attempted bit down yet maybe over Easter because I think we're going out for two days over Easter and then I think we'll stay home for the rest of it I don't like to be out and about I think being out for the book sale I think which is on the Friday um, or it runs for four days I think we're going on the Friday and then out on the Sunday will be enough for myself. Bendigo does get a lot of tourists in Easter which is fantastic but sometimes the crowds are just nuts especially after the procession like 
the procession finishes and then the crowd is just nuts so we tend to if we want to do other stuff we will go in another day like Friday to the book sale of course we don't carry books around for the procession but we'll go in on Friday to the book sale and that will be the only thing we do and then oh we may may have a look at the um, games and stuff because I think they're sort of on the way some of them are on the way um, to where we've got to walk to So I tend to don't like to do things after the procession because there's just like oodles more people in town than there usually is. That's really cute. So I like those ones. I might stop the video here because I only can film 45 minutes. Um, let's just go back and have a look at these first few that I didn't put die cuts on and whether I can sneak a die cut on them. I wonder if I can put one on, that one on. Happy with, happy with, happy with, happy with. Happy. I wonder if I could sneak something else on these four out of my die cut bag, but I'm thinking they might be a bit big. Because we've got a few minutes left, let's just have a looky see. We could put maybe a butterfly there. I like the little butterflies. I think maybe I'll just make a whole sheet of butterflies next time. No. I don't know, I find some people put lots of layers on their little things and they look really cool. I'm finding mine might be a bit simple. No, it's the wrong colour. Um thinking mine might be a bit simple, but let's see what happens. leave all the heritage ones for the darker colour things. I'm really after the butterflies and the... Actually, I don't mind that on there. Maybe if I live stream, stream, screamed, oh, I might scream at live stream. Um, if I live streamed, which I can't do until I have a thousand subbies now, but we've had a flourish of new subbies come on, so welcome if you're a new subbie. We do a variety of stuff on this channel and procrastinate lots. Um, oh, maybe that one. No, I like that one. Um, we do a variety of stuff on the channel and I share it with my daughter that pops in and out of videos when she is able to. She's quite busy little chicky at the moment, doing a whole lot of bunch of other stuff. Um, oh, maybe we go. See, that's the wrong colour. That's blue and that's green. Typewriter? No. Oh, butterfly? No. See, this is me procrastinating. I think I like that added to there because it sort of ties in with the story in the 30. And I might put the bird there, the butterfly there, this one. I don't know. Little crown. Little chair. Big crown. Big bird. I don't know. Birdcage, no. Wrong colours. typewriter. Ooh. I like the typewriter there. Let's just, oh there's a different, no that's a different typewriter. Not too big. Oh I like the typewriter. Let's just go with that. Just stick it down Melinda. So we've added four little die cuts to that one. Those and if the video cuts off before I stick all those on I'm going to go with those four. I can't read how many minutes I've got. I think I've got five minutes, six minutes. I have to get up out of my chair because that is so small on the video camera. Six minutes. Oh, we should be able to stick them down six minutes. I'm a bit happier with those. With, uh, with the extra die cuts on them. Maybe I have to just put stuff away that I'm not quite certain of and then come back to it later. Let's put all these die cuts in this sandwich bag and then I won't have them on the floor. And then I'll come back and do the other two colour themes I've got. Oops, 
sort of the blacky browny ones which I should be able to use a lot of those more vintage die cuts and the or the purple silver I'm not sure what I'm going to use for those maybe I could get away with the brownie vintagey ones I'll have to lay them out and have a look oh there goes a lovely motorbike much happier with that one that could be a tuck spot or it could be a pocket I don't know what they're going to be they're just stuff usually I don't make things ahead like this with no purpose usually I have to have a purpose in mind I started making some of the original ones for a flourish journal swap which I've mentioned before that has a spring theme so I thought I will make something to put in that and I haven't got much further on that but I've been fun making these so some of these greener ones will go in that spring theme um, and I thought it would be nice to have a little collection to then have the one's pretty um, then have when I do another flowish journal I love doing flowish journal swaps I love getting them from overseas as well I don't do overseas ones very often because the postage can be a nightmare but I do like um, getting flowish journal swaps basically a flowish journal is a loosely bound journal with basically supplies in it you can use in your other journals but don't tell anyone of all the flowish journals I've received and it could be up around 20 in the last two to three years since it started I sort of haven't taken any apart and used them yet I still like flipping through them and looking at them this year I want to use more of my stuff I get in happy mails and swaps I tend to leave it in the envelopes put it in a box and I want to hoard it but I'm going to be getting a bit better this year at not hoarding maybe but it's so pretty and people put it together and it's so pretty and so nice I don't want to wreck it half the time and take the album apart that's the whole point of the album is to take it apart but and some of them have made really cool covers that I want to make into another journal. I just haven't got my head around making a journal yet. Ow. I've just got to sit down and find a couple of my tools. I've got to find my pokey tool. I've got to find my needles that I usually... I've done some basic binding before and some basic sewing, like sewing signatures in, but they were just like plain A4 pages into some kids' books I was using for a class. Um, so I made each of the kids just put white paper in it and we just collaged and stuck in it like a really um, simple journey, very simple book. So I have done a bit of basic, so I some of the basics, I've just got to sit there and work out my signatures and work out whether I embellish the signatures before I start the journal or whether I do all the embellishing and then stick, sew them in. I haven't quite worked out what will work for me, that is really cool. But these will be fun to have to slip inside the journals as well. So thank you for watching me and listening to me waffle again while I finished these ones off. Just looking at my pile, it might be another two videos. <laughs> you getting sick of me yet? So I love how these have turned out. Um, wonder how these would photocopy. wonder if I photocopied these, how these would turn out. Because they are getting quite thick. Um, oh, I might try that. Oh, I've used scrapbook paper. I don't know how that goes to selling digital prints of things and the die cuts aren't my designs pooey spoils my fun there's no reason why I can't use them myself <laughs> they are really cool so look at my other two piles it might be another two videos but that's okay we'll spread them out bye for now